Good morning, ladies. <clears throat> and any guys out there? <laughs> um, this is Paula, and I am here this morning to do a flip through of the Extraordinary Journal. Why did I call it that? Well, it is extraordinary. It's done with very nice paper by scrap. It's by Stamperia. And it's got a little over three and a half, or maybe three and a fourth inch spine. Let me get my notes here. Yeah, three and a fourth spine. It's got five signatures and 220 pages front and back. Um, let's see what else. It's beautiful pages throughout the whole book and beautiful digitals. Just a variety of different things. This book is what I consider to be one of my best books. So, I hope that you'll enjoy this flip through. So, this is the front of the book. I just thought this lady was beautiful. And we've got dragonflies here on the front because that was on the paper as well. This is the back of the book. And... I don't know what could be better than that, right? Hydrangeas. And it has a lace tie on it, which I'm going to undo and show you. It, it is attached to the book, so you don't have to worry about losing it or anything like that. And then I'm going to show, uh, show you on top here the number of pages. You can see here all the signatures. It was a lot of fun. I had to do some special things to the actual um, book. So when I say that, I mean I had to, this is a, a more than normal size book. It actually um, is a 10 and a fourth by six and a fourth cover. Okay, and um, just filled with the beautiful stamp area paper and digitals and colorful pages. And so I decorated each signature. I did like nine or ten things. I can't remember exactly. But they all have the same amount of ephemera done throughout. And it's impossible for me to just decorate the whole book because it's got a ton of pages. As you can see, it just flips out real nice and... Uh, it it actually, when I first made it, I thought, wow, I'm trying to find the middle signature. There it is. It would just open up and lay back. It's a little fuller now, but it pretty close. It's pretty close to doing that. And actually, that's signature too, so it might help to get over to the right signature. <laughs> okay, there we go. That looks a little more even, doesn't it? And anyway, so I did all kinds of things inside. And you will see, I did all the pockets and, and things like that. So, let's get started. So, we're going to start at the front. And I'm going to kind of pull all of the, the ribbon to the back. And um, you won't be able to see her face, but there you go. Okay. Now, I'm going to open it up and start on page one. All, all of the signatures are really a lot alike um, as far as pages and stuff like that goes. There's differences for sure. You don't just repeat the same thing over and over in five signatures. But these pages are stunning on the inside as well. The birdhouse and the bird and some more hydrangeas. It just has beautiful colors that really match this spine the spine is really pretty and as soon as i saw the spine i knew it would be perfect so i'm gonna flip back here to the very back of the book so you can see how beautiful the papers are each signature cover has a stamperia paper so let's get started i did put a, a small amount of blue lace um, on each signature at the start. So the the first the first cover at the start is in 
blue has a little bit of blue lace. This is vintage lace, by the way, too. Um, so here is your first pocket. And, and it's got this cool tag I made and this cluster I made. And the pocket, a lot of the pockets are made out of Tim Holtz wallpaper. And then I decorated them with just different ephemera. And, and then we're off here. This replaced uh, the library pocket for me because I thought it was cuter. And it has all kinds of goodies in it. Yeah. Avocado stained paper. And some beautiful, I believe it's daisies. It looks like daisies to me. And then just some rose paper. I love this rose paper. And um, so we're sticking with the blue and the lavender and the pink. And then you'll have some mint green, some tea stain paper. Here's a heart and a, and a three-dimensional flower with a tag. Now, the reason they don't, uh, the tags don't have ties at the top is because it would make it super bulky, and I wanted to leave that up to the new owner whether or not they wanted it like that. But I did put a whole bag of uh, different trims and fibers. Oh, I'm sorry. I just hit the phone. Um so that you can decide what you want to put on each one. There's plenty in here for all of them. And just a page out of the idea book, which is not a, a young book. I did not look at the year. I forgot to look at the year, but it's old. And I put some poetry in there. Here's some blue paper. And I stenciled throughout the book too with a couple different stencils. This is one of them. And an old planner page. This is... I know wallpaper page by, um, I'm trying to think who I got that from. It was from Lorna. Okay. And then just, this is Artie Mays. This is, I can remember this is Artie Mays. And uh, some music sheets. And you're going to see, like I said, this is just a stationary page that I stained with tea. This is a no typewriter sheet which goes way back to the 70s, I believe. And um, and then I just did some different pages. I can't remember everybody, but I know Antique Paperia is in here. Look at this rose paper. I just love it. Love, love it. This beautiful rose petals there on the back of this pink lace. Here's some blue stained paper on the back. It's a signature, the signature center. Instead of putting beads, I put hearts because this book was big enough <laughs> that we didn't have need to have beads hanging down too. So I'm not going to repeat everything or what kind of page it is on the second half because it's going to have the same type of thing. Look at this bird's nest. Isn't that cute? And here is a piece of the wallpaper. And I folded the tips in on both both ends and and then folded or took a strip off the bottom of the page and put it across the lower part and then added some of the cute small tags. Uh, but you can see here that I flipped it over and it's on both pages but it's one piece. And so you have all kinds of cool um, tags in here. Let me see what's on this side. Oh, it's another type of, yeah. Another typewriter page. Glassine bag, and I just put this Every flower is a soul blossoming in nature. And that's the truth. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? On the back, it has the butterflies. Here's another stencil. 
I just love those leaves. So we're still in signature one. Another ideas page. And here is a lavender page. So we have this lavender, uh, 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 what do you call them, coin pockets or bank pockets, but it's got this beautiful uh, lavender going on. Here's a decoupage tag I made a long time ago and just hung on to it, and I knew eventually it would be perfect for a book. And here is another card that matches the outside, a journaling card. I added a little bit of lace across the top to the flap, put a couple flowers right there, and then I made this uh, paper clip that goes on this page, and it was similar to everything else. None of this was made at the same time, so that makes it fun too, you know? Okay, and then we continue. There's some tea stain paper, and there's lots of places for you to journal. You will, if you didn't want to buy another journal after this, you wouldn't have to, because it's, it's huge. It has so much to journal on and decorate. Here's the mint green background of the pink paper. I just love it. It's such a beautiful color. And here's some more Tim Holtz uh, wallpaper. And then this ephemera, and I did decoupage this. I don't know if you can tell which one. It's got a little girl on it. Just look real closely and you'll see it. And she goes right in here. Here's the next signature. And um, we're going to move. No, that's the last page of the signature. This is the next signature. My goodness, they all blend together after a while, don't they? And here we have, my husband just walked in about gave me a heart attack. So I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, so we have a cover that is stunning as well. And I don't know if this is supposed to be the same lady or not. It's hard to tell because you can't see her complete face. But, yeah. It's fun. Here's a piece of the Stampieri paper for this pocket. It really blends in with everything. I added some hydrangeas that are 3D. This is another decoupage page. Again, the fibers are in the kit. Not really a kit, but it's, you know what I mean the extra, <laughs> but it's a lot of extra, just so you know ahead of time. This is a beautiful page here that is a digital. I do not know who the people are of the digital, so if you send me a message asking me, I, I won't know. Um, even though I have mine all organized, once you put them in that digital file of whoever uh, designed them, it's like throwing them in the ocean, you know, you don't know which one goes where, except the very first time. And I do find things as I go along. And some of them, I can tell you, you know, who they are. Here's the old, uh, the old copy machine, or the old, um, I forget what you call them, but they had these, they would roll on this type of paper with the holes on the side. This is just a little uh, little book on the inside of this little pocket. Here's some more stationary paper, perfect with lines. Here's an old um, daily planner. This is another beautiful picture from Stampieria. No, not Stampieria. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be that kind of morning. <laughs> It is from um, Antique Paperia. I love this, anything with these daisy pa papers. Here is a belly band right here. And then I made, uh, it says family, and then it says story. So this is where you can write your memories with your family. 
and you can add more to the back if you needed to. So the belly band holds that. And here is some more of Artie Mae's pink paper. And this old church, there's a story in here with that oh, this church and, and a vacation. Here's some striped paper that I paper clipped over the envelope. You can open it. This was made out of stamp antique paper Rhea too. Um, it, it's just her, some of her papers are just stunning. And here's a, a bookmark or a journal tag right inside. You could use it for either one. I've done it before. Okay, and then you just want to clip it right back in. I try not to make these too bulky so that they're not taking up a lot of space. Typewriter page, antique paperia, music sheet, blue paper, turquoisey blue, and tea stained with a darker, or coffee stain. This one's coffee stained. And another blue. This little blue paper here has, has like little checks or plaid. You might not be able to see it very well, but you will close up. Here's the center of Signature 2 with some little hearts. Continuing to the second half of the second signature. Now this is unique, and I came up, up with this. I've only done it one other time in a book because it does take a bigger book to do this. But I got a large um, bag, which is this right here. And um, this is the center of the contraption. <laughs> and this is how I opened and closed by attaching another bag right here. Now you can do it like this, or you can, there's lots of different ways you can glue it into your book. If you flip it over, here is another page. And this is the only one that flops because it just would be crazy for the person that had to deal with that. And here's another decoupaged tag. Okay. And then another ideas book page. Artie Mays, Tim Holtz wallpaper, and Stamperia paper to so make the tags. I made different tag tops so it wouldn't just be identical. And on this page, this is a piece of um, the wallpaper. And I just had it opened out, and then I folded it, like, into thirds. You can see here, because it flips open. So this is one-third, one-third, and the last third. And then I tucked this corner under. And then I started stitching right here with the whole thing flat around here, around there, and then it got over here and just did the same thing. You could, could make part of this a pocket, but I think it was plenty uh, in there. Now I added some lace at the top and a, and a tag, and then here is a butterfly design I stuck on there. And you can go in here and just journal. I love to journal over light colored papers with like a black marker, navy marker. Any color you want would work. Here's another one of those old printer papers. Here's another digital.
Okay, now, I'm sorry, I got, I had to get something. <laughs> Here is this beautiful paper again. And it's hard to video when you have distractions, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I closed my door. Anyway, I think this looks so pretty together. These colors and these pages just kind of, just, you don't have to even decorate these because it just, it already looks so great. Here's the end of Signature 2, and I love all of the different colors and designs. This paper is so pretty, too. It's just a page of florals with butterflies. And this is the start of Signature 3. This is Antique Paperia. Look at this. Here's just a, another wallpaper from Lauren. And I stitched, I mean, I stenciled here on the back. This is a little, I can't take it out to show you because it's glued in, but it's a, it's, you fold your paper in half, okay? And then you lay it down and you can, you leave the open area to, at the top. And then you just fold until you have this small piece. You just put some things in there, fold it, glue it on your... And you've got this cute little envelope. I love this blue, too. Coffee dyed paper. Here's another uh, of Lauren's pages that is wallpaper. And I just folded it in half and get again. Folded this side in, this side in, and glued across the bottom because that's where the two top open portion parts were of the page. And then I just made a, a stamp for the top here. You could decorate this if you wanted, but I already liked the way it was decorated. And here is a side tuck with a decoupage bird a lot of birds and butterflies in the book. I'm so sorry, guys. Kind of got cut off from my video for a second. So I'm back. And um, we were here in the middle of the sec second signature. Okay. And we were talking about how pretty this blue paper was, which is on the back of these pages that go in the center of each signature, which they're all different. They look similar, and they are, but they're all different. And here is uh, some more of those little hearts. <clears throat> they're so cute. Coffee stained paper, and I know I've said all the names of these. Music sheet. So, this is a really cool... Um, item I made. I took a large envelope, a uh, large sack, a very sm a small sack, and on the other side is the medium sack right here. Now, I glued the medium down on the second page, and let me show you that tag real quick. I don't know why my camera seems uh, dark. I will tell you, this is a new uh, phone, and I've still got a lot to learn on it. The first half of the video was with my old phone. Yes, that's why I ended up with a new phone, was because there was something wrong with my old phone. Okay, here's a tag that I made to go in this big bag. Put it down in there. And then this small tag with a decoupaged floral with a butterfly. So this is really cool and you can put it on a lot of different ways. We'll have to do a video someday on it. That's the rest of the ideas book, Artie Mays. Here's Tim Holt's wallpaper and just a couple pretty tags from the uh, card, um, a few tags from the Stamperia paper. And here I just embellished this with this pretty lady with a pink dress. 
And here's some more of the daisy paper. This says friends. Tea stain paper. Some stationary paper. And here is some wallpaper that I folded and did all this type of stuff with. Decorated it here and put some lace across the top. And you can see the fold is where the tag goes right there. And it flips out. And you can journal on this side. Even though it has uh, print on it, you can journal with a darker pen. And it looks really nice when that's done. Okay, because it's not very dark. The paper isn't. Here's some more uh, stenciling. Avocado paper. Okay, this is the inside of the last page of the second journal, which look at this beautiful paper. I just love every bit of their papers. And look at this. This came out of the same paper pack. And so did the hydrangeas here. Okay, we're in signature three. This is a um, antique paperia page with the birdhouse and just some random green paper I liked. This is wallpaper, stenciling. This is a little um, tag that is, um, it's got, I made it into like a, I folded this a certain way. And I can't really explain. It's kind of hard to explain. And then I put this little imagine, let your imagination take flight. And you just slip it into these pockets. But if you look on the other side, you can see that this other side is the same way. It's just a simple little thing. I'll have to show you guys how to make those someday. And here's that beautiful pink paper that I'm just in love with. It has such a softness to it. Here's some more daisies with the blue. And we've got some more tea stain paper. Again, I folded some of the wallpaper. I just kind of folded it in half. And then I, fold, I tucked the two corners down and glued them down and just folded them over each other. And it made a really cute uh, little pocket. And then I just added some lace to the tag. There's lace added to the pocket as well. Um, okay, so here is a side pocket that I put this decoupage bird on. Isn't he cute? It goes perfect with this book. And you can put all kinds of things in these side pockets. There, I think there's another one in here somewhere. And I'm just going to flip through and explain to you when I've made something. Birdhouse for rent. Okay, so those are some beautiful flowers. Okay, right here I did a small bag, a craft color bag, and I covered it in some different ephemera. And so you can see all the beautiful roses and flowers. It's on that blue paper I was talking about. Here's the center of the third signature. Artie Mays. Stenciling. Here is some more paper. It it was a scrap of paper I made a pocket out of. And I put a, a three-dimensional hydrangea there. It says Dreamer. It has the picture of the lady on the front. It's been stitched around. And then here we go is another one. I love this blue paper here on the left. And I thought this female image here, this looks like a southern woman. It kind of, it kind of makes it, it turns into a pocket. And I just took a scrap of blue paper that I thought was pretty and put a Tim Holtz 
wildflower on it. And then here is a postcard. And on the back, it says memories. And it has a well tail tab on it. I thought this was really a cute little area of the book. Now, if I can get my fingers to work, I'll get it right back in there. And then we'll put this tall one behind it. Here's a Tim Holtz pocket with a couple more tags and this uh, trio of roses. Wallpaper on both of these. Here is a postcard that I decorated the front of and got it to where it matched with this flower and Here's a little house in the background. This is one of the Stamperia papers. Antique Stamperia. Almost said that wrong. <laughs> I did. Here's the back of the third signature. And here across from it is a doily, some flowers, and a heart. I love, love this paper with the butterflies. It just has that soft. Now here is a basket full of hydrangeas. Looks like they have a postcard right here and some butterflies. This is signature four. Look at this little girl from Antique Paperia. Here is a pocket out of the Tim Holtz wallpaper. And I added this lantern with a rose in it. I thought that was really pretty. And it went well with the pocket. And here's some butterflies on this little card. And then there's a, a, a card with some birds on it. There's some more stenciling. Here's another Tim Holtz paper. I put a strip across there. Thought it turned out pretty. It didn't need to be decorated because it had those beautiful roses. Here is um, a wallpaper that's just the second side of it. Here is a thinner sheet of paper. And this is an envelope I made. I simply cut a, a piece of paper in half right down the middle okay and and then I took and folded in one half the top two pieces let me make sure you can see this okay there looks so dark I'm sorry you guys I don't know what's wrong gonna have to make some major adjustments and then this just folds down and you journal you fold it over and you decorate the flap Pretty, right? I love some of these ideas. Let me make sure I have you where I need you again. Okay. All right. All the different brands of paper. Here's the center of the fourth signature. Those look like they're the same papers, but they're really different sheets of paper. Here's an envelope I made with some birds on it. It says, life is better with you. You turn it over, and it has their bird cage to journal on the back of. So I just, I love to do envelopes and put journaling cards in them because you can put the secret ones there if you want. If you have any secrets. <laughs> I might have when I was young. <laughs> I'm going a little faster now so I don't bore you. Here's another uh, stenciled page. 
Here's a Julie with a flower and heart. Here's a piece of uh, paper from the Stamperia book. Some more beautiful tags. I stitched around uh, a, a lot of the tags. Here's the picture of the little girl uh, from Stamperia. I must have put her in here twice. Oh no, she's at the end of the she's she's at the end of the um, fourth signature. I thought we were done, but we weren't. Here's some triple heart right here. It's not a pocket. It's just a decoration. I thought it was pretty. Here's the end of signature four. Signature five. Ooh, that's pretty. Here is Tim Holtz wallpaper. And I cut it a little smaller because I needed it to be smaller. And here is three different tags. You get a lot of tags to journal on the back. And a lot of them have journaling paper, so you don't have to worry about that. If they don't have the paper, that means you can see the journal. Decorated it with this heart and this floral wreath. Some pretty paper here. This is a double pocket, and I, I did a ruffle with paper and added some crocheted um, lace. And then here's some matching tags, and they have a button at the top. But you can journal on both of those. Beautiful paper, multicolored. Oh, I love that. Stamperia paper, stenciling. Here is a collaged envelope I made. And I fussy cut the bird out of a bird book. And I did a faux stamp that I made with some, um, oh my goodness. It's not sorry silk. <laughs> I can't remember right now, but you know what it is. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I've drawn a blank. And here's a butterfly with a pearl and a bouquet of lilies. And I clipped it into the book, but it also has a journaling card of inside with irises. So though that's really pretty. It's one of my favorite collaged envelopes I've done. Okay. Let me get this on here correctly. This book has tons of pages. It's 220 double side on both, uh, using, counting both sides. Here's another envelope I made. And it just has a journaling page inside. Back side of it's white. Here is a postcard I matted and made into a pocket. Um, in this book, you need lots of pockets. And this is that little lantern again with a butterfly and two different tags. Center of the fifth signature, if you can believe it. Look at this kitty cat. He's cute. Look at this tag I made. Now, I made this in our tag series. Uh, I've used all of them, but this one, and it, this one was perfect for this book. I just set this, so you can see it has a, it's a flip-up card, 
I just set it over the over the top of the um, page, and then I clipped it just to be on the safe side, so it wouldn't be lost out of the book. Here's another side tuck. And on this one, I made an envelope. Isn't that pretty? It's the back. And it has the other, or it has another female. And on the back is a journaling page. And so you just put it in like that. Let me see if that's the right page. Yes, it is. Some more stamp area. Antique stamp area. My favorite. I love this paper. It's a wallpaper or just a specialty paper. Now here is another belly band and I made a second belly band because I love, I found this in some of my ephemera and I love this. I fussy cut it out and then I made a little booklet as you can see here got this little booklet with pages just has random pages inside and then a piece of lace across the staples because I always staple it on and this is a, a tuck on the top right there so cute one of my favorite things you have to be gentle when you put it in because of the leaves so pretty there we go. And then I love this paper too. And here's Tim Holtz paper up against Stamperia paper. So similar. I put a rose here and did two tags. And our last page in our signature. And the inside back cover is hydrangeas. Now we're going to look at the back of the book. It is hydrangeas also. And you can see that I put, that I handmade it. and Put a little flower here. And so I'm going to set that to the side. And I'm going to show you what will be coming, what will go with this book. Okay. I put together a whole package of goodies <laughs> to go with it so you can add more and more because it's a big book. And I'm going to open it up and show you, I think. <laughs> I'm going to let you just look down inside. Can you see all the goodies in there? It's got a lot of different, it has some digitals. Has some papers from a floral magazine. It has another cup, two or three bags, and some fibers for all your tags. Um, it has napkins. It has a, ephemera. It has uh, what? It has doilies. I mean, it has a ton of stuff inside here. I don't want to take it out because I got it in here just right. And um, I know that you will love everything inside this book, this bag. And this bag goes with this. And so be looking for it in my, let me untie the bow here, in my Etsy shop. It should be there anytime. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the process of this book as much as I did. And 
I, I uh, just love it. So go grab it before anybody else does. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.